Are you all right? What happened to you? You've got a serious gash on your forehead. Can you hear me? Oh God, that looks awful. We've got to get stitched up right away. Can you talk? Don't worry. Let's just get you out of the cold. Very lucky. Good. I'm glad you finally recovered consciousness. Who are you? Found you in the snow along the eastern path. It's a good thing I came when I did, or you surely would have froze to death. You didn't answer either of my questions. What happened to me? Well, I don't know. I found you lying unconscious in the snow. I wasn't just going to leave you there. Father has a place up ahead. We'll call you a doctor from there. You're very vague, aren't you? What do you mean? You're avoiding my questions. I asked you who you are. I already told you. I'm the one that found you. I'm just trying to help. There you go again. Tell me your name. My name's Jessica. Look, I don't mean to be rude, but... Are you planning to walk now? I'm getting tired and we still got at least a mile to go. I don't believe you. What is it now? I'm just trying to be helpful and do the right thing here. <sighs> Not that. You're really starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Are you completely ungrateful with what I'm doing for you? Not that I said. Uh, uh. What are you talking about? I don't have a problem with what you're doing for me right now. I have a problem with you lying to me. I don't get it. I've done nothing but try and... <laughs> You've got nothing to hide, right? Sit down. Take your breaks. I'm certainly not walking myself. You got me in this mess. And I expect you to make it all better. You know what? Fuck you. You can take care of yourself. I never allow a monster like you in my father's home. Sit down now. Sit. I feel misunderstood. I just want to say the things that need to be said. And I want you to listen for a minute. Can you do that? You lied to me. Your name's not Jessica. It is. I'm Jessica Clarksworth. I went to school with you since the first grade. Now that might have been some time ago, but I know for a fact. Your name is Marjorie Clapp. You used to walk down this path every day before nightfall to collect pine cones. What did you do with all those pine cones, Marjorie? I have no idea what you're talking about. You do. You used to have it out for me. You remember. That just confirms every memory I have of you. I'm leaving now. I've got to go. No! You're not going anywhere unless we go together. You cut me. Now get the fuck up and help me up. Take me back this way, back where you found me. They're in the snow. Dig. Dig? Dig. Get on the ground and dig with your fucking hands.
You slashed my head. You wanted to kill me when you realized you couldn't go through with it. You buried the knife right there in the snow and acted as a friend of all things. Thought you'd go through with it, huh? <laughs> you know I was just kidding the whole time. Pretty elaborate story, huh? Holy shit, I should write children's stories. I cut myself and waited for someone like you to come and help me. You came just like others will come, and we'll both look like victims to them. <laughs> it's really perfect, you know? I always pass out at the sight of my own blood. <laughs> I think it's really what sells the story.